today i am going to be spending my day in the most dangerous neighborhood of south africa what am i talking about i'm talking about the one in only her bro Hey yo, what's happening everybody? For the past 30 days, I've been living in Hellbro. And then today, this is what I'm going to do. Today, I'm going to share with you my experience living in Hellbro for the past 30 days. But if you like this video, make sure that you watch up until the end. Share this video with your friends. And then yeah, let us get into this. Okay, first thing that I'm going to tell you first is that Hellbro is not dangerous as it looks, you know, because you know what's happening. People who live around this area, they know each other, and then the the way you appear in a place, what you're wearing, uh, what you're wearing, how you behave, which build, which places do you look, it matters. When I'm saying which places do you look, I'm saying like in some streets. In some streets, we know that okay, this street it only goes to the to the left and then it does not go to the right so when you arrive you want to cross a road let's say you don't have a car you want to cross a road what you'll do you will look on the left and the right so by that time we know that you're not you're not from Hilbert because usually we'll only look from we'll only look the right side because the cars only come from the right side and goes to the left and sometimes some other drivers will come with their car and then just because Another thing that I'm going to tell you is that uh, if you're coming to live in Joburg, just know that time moves very fast, faster than train, it moves very fast, like you can't get bored, you always have things to do, but even though you don't have things to do, you'll still, you'll still live your day, but you wouldn't know that what happened today, what time is it and everything, like the time moves very fast right here in the city, I think like I should remove this head because like it's messing up my background, okay that's better so uh yeah the time moves very fast here so like if you're planning to come here you have to come here think about like you coming here to hustle uh you're coming here to find a job this is a very good place and if you can uh, a lot of people live here so they can plug you with jobs and stuff you understand so uh what other thing am i going to, to address is like if you come into the city don't come and chill because if you chill you come and chill in the city time will vie with you I mean like time of hour with you like seriously for real and then a lot of people who are living here there are people who left their families at home that's the thing that you have to figure out besides if like you are a teenager and then you're, you're a teenager you want to have a good time in Joburg you just want to relocate and come stay in Joburg and then you have to find another place like um, Brown Fontaine um, Park um, Kilani Park Town as like as like yeah Park Town, uh, but here, bro, and the nearest areas like Beria, Yuval. Like, bro, you can't be a teenager and staying there. It's for only people who are hustling, you understand? As you can see from this point, as I was telling you, the city is really empty. The city does not look like these guys. It does not look like these. I'm telling you, if it looks like these, like today, today is Friday, so a lot of people went to work and then they're going to come back at 4 past 3, something like that. But the city is usually busy. I'll come back at 4 o'clock and stand here, the same place, and then I'll vlog the same street. And then you'll see what I'm talking about, you understand? This is what, this is what the traffic looks like at four can you see the taxis jamming just because the other ones don't allow the other ones to pass i'm standing on the same corner that i told you that i'll be standing at four o'clock this is one of the main road which the taxis use it's 60 percent of the people who stay in here they don't uh they have jobs outside the outside the city they don't usually work inside the city but they work uh, downtown johannesburg that side by carlton center and mtn takes a rank and then the other thing is that 
people who uh who you will find here during the day especially on weekdays i mean like during weekdays from eight until four o'clock the city is empty because a lot of people they don't walk in the city but they go outside the city people who stay here during the day are people who running uh businesses like they're selling they selling uh they selling vegetables they have a spaza shop uh what other thing can i i, I mention they running uh, a quick uh, a quick restaurant while i'm talking about the restaurant i should also tell you that uh the food here food is not that expensive especially when you're buying uh via via what via what you call via you buying takeaways here yeah, person that eats takeaways food is not expensive here yeah, but if you're buying groceries food is expensive i mean like you can get a takeaway of rice and uh and and meat and all the type of all type of food for only 10 rand i'm telling you like for a 10 rand you can have your lunch but without a drink you don't get a drink you only get the opportunity to get a lunch but you can get a drink food is cheap and then you can get for 20 rand you can get pop i don't know what you call it in your area but like you can get pop you can get uh what you call what else can you get you can get pop and meat for only 10 rand and you can eat that food for for like for the whole day like from lunch until and you can save the leftovers for dinner out of the old places that i've ever been in here bro this is the most place where i feel like it's very safe it's very secured and then i don't even have to worry about taking the camera out when i want to vlog for you about the topic that we're talking about because um there are lots of securities here that there are some police so safety it's on its maximum level you understand this is the most secure this is the number one most secured area in johannesburg you understand this is the most secured area there's no more secure area than this i mean in the streets you can't take out your camera and start vlogging because it's gonna be bad and then you can't take out your phone maybe if you have a gopro and then you can go pro but if you take out your phone you take out your your camera it's going to be awkward bro i'm telling you so here i feel like it's the most secured area it's the most safe area that i've ever been can you see if you look at look at the back you can see like the tourists people are touring this place it's the most most iconic area in Herbro, you understand and like i know that i will fight with the security guards when they see me vlogging here you understand The only thing that I like about this place is that uh, today is Saturday but there are always tourists up in here every day there are always tourists and then the security guards they're trying to hate on me but like it doesn't matter because like I'm doing my job they're doing their job but yeah man Constitution Hill is the most clean area and the place where uh, most uh, tourists they come and do their thing up in here the security guards they're going to throw me out because I didn't buy a ticket to be here but this is what I always do on a daily basis. You understand? And the other thing that I'm going to address is the matter of cleanliness. What do they call it in your country? Neatness, something like that. Her bro is clean. And then, okay, this is what I'm going. I know that you disagreed with me on that one, but I, let me tell you something. Hillbro is clean, but have you ever been in a place or in a house where a lot of people live? 
if you go to the place where a lot of people live even though it's clean bro it is hard to figure it out if it's clean and then look the service with the government i don't know who uh who runs the service i don't know which municipal runs the service over here but like it is clean and then they will take like um two weeks to three weeks to pick up the the, the dustbinning thing and then you re you you hardly see people who sweep on the streets who sweep the streets and a lot of people live here and they don't care somebody's coming far outside by Berea and then he comes to here bro and then he, what's going to happen he buys uh, a juice he drink a juice after drinking a juice you take the bottle you throw it on the floor you don't care because why he does not live in the area but at the end people think like people who live like in here bro um, they just like that but sometimes it's not that it's that a lot of people visit the city and they do stupid things they throw dirt they throw papers tissues and as you are a resident in Hillbrook you are not going to pick dirty up just because you live in the city that's not going to be fair like it's not going to be fair to pick dirty on the floor just because you just want to see the city uh dirty yes there are people who live in the streets and they sleep in the streets by by the way it's not like in here bro and stuff it's everywhere every city that uh every city there is there are people who live in the streets am i lying if i'm lying just tell me i'm not lying in every city there are people who live in the streets and that's not a surprise you see people do live in the streets and the special thing and the unique thing about here bro, is that there is a shelter a few uh, a few streets down the block where you can do it where you can where people who don't who are homeless they have been co accommodated you understand yeah that's it and then let me tell you about the issue of um girls and stuff i know girl bro is famous for like they'll say like uh, people are selling and what what girls are selling i don't want to touch that word because kids might be watching this video so like let me tell you about the the thing of intimacy what's happening is that people who live in the city most of them they came here to hustle they came here for money they left their families at home they're trying to uh support their families they're trying to make a living they're trying to to, to better their future so there are guys who like they don't have like their reese is not on that level they're not good with talking with ladies everywhere there are guys where they are not good with, when it comes to talking with ladies and finding ladies and stuff but in here bro what i'm happy about is that you have that uniqueness to buy intimacy you understand it doesn't matter you're a boy you're a girl but you can still buy and then that's the mo most unique thing about here bro. and then it is famous for that because like people are here they came here strictly for business dog you understand they came here for business so what are we gonna say and then the other thing i was like this was a proper video like a uh, documentary or stuff because like i'm really doing my thing you understand it is what it is it is what it is <laughs>